Hey guys, it's Jake, Korean Jew Trading here. Just uh, want to give you a quick video um, to address what's what's happening, what are my thoughts, what how we should be playing this, uh, you know, short-term bear market. It certainly looks that way. Um, every day there seems to be more and more negative news and press and tweets from Charlie Lee and, and others um, in regards to China. Um, when you look at everything, uh, before this whole thing started on Labor Day in America a few uh, Mondays ago, we were, we were approaching 180 billion market cap, and China, I believe, makes up, I think their volume was maybe 30% or 20-something 20, 20 percent of that. Now, just the fear of China being gone has wiped out 60 billion, 65 billion even. Um, so if they had just stopped, we'd have more money in crypto than we do now. It's, it's other, so stop saying China has weak hands because, you know, I'm, I'm sure if America started to say that they were going to ban crypto, um, and exchanges, a lot of Americans would do the same thing and stuff. But it's, it's people all over the world selling because they're scared of what China is going to do. But you have to realize for Bitcoin to continue to go lower, there has to be more sellers than buyers. And I think there still are, but a lot of the people that sold or were scared and didn't believe, not willing to hold um, or hodl, have already sold. So you got to look at Bitcoin. Don't look at the dollar amount. It's an expensive asset or, or a security, whatever you want to call it. You know, 5000 4500 for one Bitcoin is expensive when you think about it in dollar US dollar value or fiat currency value so you have to look at it from a percentage loss value I mean I know anybody in this space has had days where their alts have taken a hit of 20 percent but when you take when you take a 20 percent hit off of five thousand that's that's a thousand dollars in a day so people hear oh Bitcoin lost a thousand dollars and they freak out um, right now we're around 34 33 and change in my opinion, I, th I think the bottom's going to be around 3,000. Um, and it may break below 3,000 for a short second, and, and we might go to 2,850 or 2,900, but that's where you're going to see that bounce, most likely. Um, I could be wrong, but at the same time, I feel pretty strongly, based off of charting, what, and just my gut, honestly, um, 3,000, that mental number of people, I guess, oh, Bitcoin's below 3,000. Now it's time to get back in. Um, I can't see a lot of people selling below there. And, you know, this is, uh, this is, for the people that are new, this is part of the game. You know, if you can't stomach taking a 20% hit, or a 10% hit, 30% hit, you're, how, how, are you, how do you think you're, you're going to make 100, you know, 10x gains? You want, you want 10x gains, but you can't take a small hit. Um, it doesn't work like that. People forget, and I, I tweet this, if you got into crypto eight, eight years ago or so and put, you know, you'd be a millionaire now. A thousand, if you put a hundred bucks in, you'd be a millionaire. You'd have a few million. But you would have lost 80% of your portfolio five separate times, five times. So don't be that person that bought Bitcoin at $100 and sold when it dropped, you know, to $40. I mean, I think a year from now, we'll be looking at, there's no doubt, if you buy Ethereum today at $230, do, do you honestly, when you, all the research, I hope you've done research, but all the research you've done in this space and looking at the future and talking about where we're going to be, and, and now that China does this, do you, does that change what you feel about this tech? Do you think Ethereum is just going to disappear? Is it going to be worth, what, $100? No. I don't believe that. I mean, maybe you do if you sell, but if you buy it today at $230, you don't think within one year from now, 2000, 2018, you don't think you're going to be able to double your money? Like it won't hit 400 ever? Think about that. Really. Because... That's if you sold a week ago, you know, because you, you felt like you saw this coming and, and you, you thought that we were gonna get a big hit, 
And you know what? You played it well. I give you, I give you credit. Um, that's, and this is one of the things that, in my Ten Commandments, I say all, you know, and something I say all the time: never invest more than you can afford to lose. Number one, because obviously, if you have money in here that you need, like to survive, and you're going to take a thirty percent hit, that's terrible. You're going to be messed up. That's number one. Number two, when you're in profit, always take always take some profit and put it aside so that when things like this happen, instead of freaking out, you can profit off of it. Because I promise, back, back in July when this was happening, it was just as bad, if not worse. People were saying, oh, Bitcoin's going to be 1300 or 1500 um, Bitcoin's going down to $1,000. You're going to see people like to do, you know, scare people so that they can buy and make a killing. There's, there's so many people that bought today that in a month, two months from now, are going to be bragging about it, you know? So don't be that person that sold at the last second, right before it bounced. I mean, that's just, that's my two cents. Um, <clears throat> as far as what could happen, so let's say China bans exchanges, which very likely could happen. You know, a month from now, they can announce that they've been working and they've, they've, they've come up with a protocol for verification of what's legit and these three exchanges will be allowed and they'll have, there'll be rumors of some good news that China is partnering with exchanges and, and different cryptos. And that's all it would take is a rumor that they're talking about bringing it back. And all of a sudden you start to see more and more positive news come out and then you have a bull market again. And that leads up to, I mean, a lot of us in the space with, with, with Segwit 2X in November, <clears throat> the general consensus is, oh, there, there's gonna be a crash in November because of Segwit 2X, another hard fork. Uh, raising the block size from one megabyte to two megabytes and and that worked in July everybody was scared but then right before um, Segwit Segwit locked and then people realized oh if I buy Bitcoin and hold I'll get free Bitcoin cash and we all know how that worked out so to me we may have some more weeks of this but then it's possible you know China might get back in the game who knows um, but you'll start to see more excitement. Oh, Bitcoin's cheap. It's 3000 um, If I buy now, in another month, I'll get free Bitcoin. Another Bitcoin brother, Bitcoin, uh, whatever they're going to call it, the Segwit 2X token. So, I mean, when you look at things, <clears throat> try, try not to look at it so short term. Um, it's, it's all about living to see another day. And... You know, it's a rough day. It's not fun. There's nothing fun about today. I, I know a lot of people that are that are really hurting right now. So stay tough and uh, be smart. Don't make don't make any rash rash decisions. It's too late now. <laughs> like if you bought at 4,900 and now and you've been hodling up until this point, don't sell now. Can't do it. And Another point is when the market comes back, be greedy because right now they're being greedy. The people that are selling, there's like it's almost like they have no limit to how much you're going to lose. So when it starts to come back, be a little greedy. You know, make it worth your while. Make them pay for them making you feel this way right now. You know, don't don't be happy with 10%, 20%. Double up. Double up. That was a mistake I made personally in July when I bought I bought Bitcoin at 1800, 1840, Ethereum at 140. I made nice money off that, but the one that hurt me was Dash. I bought Dash at $125 and I sold it like 150. If I had just held Dash at 400 last month. So I learned my lesson. I'm stacking up today. Um, you saw the moves I made. Bought more. I bought more Quantum because I think this is just BS. Uh, it's, it's still strong. I'm already green on that purchase, but um, yeah, pick whatever coins you like that are solid and just hold on. If you have to delete your block folio, do it. But, you know, have a little faith or else or else you never believe to begin with and you don't deserve to make money. That's it. All right. So uh, I hope this helps you and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Later.